Okay, but good stuff. See what kind of set he has. Uh, I know S1 has been improving a lot. Um, I mean, obviously, since he uh, like he did beat uh, David Gif. So see what what, what kind of zero suit stuff we can uh, he can pull out. I know that uh, Black Twins uh, like plays against uh, V105 like all the time. So um, I mean, who knows? Maybe S1 can pull off some tricks, stuff we've never seen before. And uh, they're starting off. So uh, some nice aerial spacing. Yeah, Dukong's uh, neutral seems to be uh, controlling the match right now. Knows those uh, zero suit shenanigans. Doesn't let him uh, down B off the ledge. But there's stuff like you just gotta try. Uh, okay. Actually, one thing I, I like. I actually just realized this recently because, like, as a peach main, I, like I'm like pretty slow, so I'm like always trying to position myself, and I like need to know when I get reads. But uh, there are a lot of times where I'm just like too slow for punishes, and I'm just like I have to wait to see it happen before I do it. But that's like I don't know. You can't do that. Sometimes you just gotta let it rip. Just do it. Learn how to uh, buff your options and just get the right reads. But you're only going to do that unless you know uh, what moves are coming first. So just need good game sense and reading positioning to know what moves you got to do. Just do them. Um, and right there, going to get that uh, up smash on the landing. And Blackman sitting at 53%. Okay, nice up tilt. Yeah, Zirsu with those like quick tilts on landings can like really cover herself. But at like, they they have ending lag. So like, if you throw them out, you just kind of like can shield it and grab on landing. So like, though though it does create a, like a mix-up situation. So like nowadays he knows that uh, like that he's he's just gonna shield it and then punish the tilt on landing. Like, see what other stuff he can do afterwards when he lands. Like. Maybe go for the down B or like throw out a jab for the mix up. It depends on, like if he's throwing it the right way. Cause, but if you do a jab when you're landing on shield, then like there's at least a mix up situation that happens there. Like if you keep jabbing, then he can't throw something out, or so force him to stay in shield. Then you can grab that kind of stuff. And uh, that is actually like kind of a habit that uh, I see uh, like a lot of zero suit uh, players have actually just like throwing out the tilts on landing. Good stuff. Gets an up smash. But, um, yeah, got to find out, like, different mix-up situations. Yeah, throwing out those grabs. And, uh, like, I feel like, uh, like, Vishal gets, um, he gets a lot out of just, like, dashing back and forth. Like, when he's looking, like, he'll, like, dash, dash back and forth, and he's waiting for you to do an option so that he can just counter and up be it. But, like, it's, it's not just for the read for the up B. He's, like, he's, like, moving around more, so he's not just keeping in the same rhythm of just hopping and, uh, and doing aerials. So it, it, it just, like, gives you a wider range of options. So, like, see what kind of, like, ground game this suit has. Like, see, there you go. Like, there's a nice dash stack. Good to throw those out every now and then. Um... Yeah, and uh, Dikong is another, is another, it's like a, that character where like just do it. Like you have the frame data, you have like this great fair, and like when you get up, when you have a banana in hand, like unless you have an option like uh, that just like can keep you in there, you have to read what they're gonna do with the banana. You want to get rid of it, and, and you want to counter the banana throw. Because if you're in shield, then did he like again? It creates a mix-up situation where like. There's a, there's a banana throw at your, thrown at your shield. What are you going to do? If you stay in shield, you get grabbed. If you don't, then you get up smashed at high percent. You can get fared and like... I don't know. And again, like as Diddy Kong, sometimes you just got to go for it. Because um, if you don't, you'll just flat out be too slow to get the punish. So. Good stuff to Black Twins. And he's finding himself uh, up a uh, hefty amount right now. 34% on Black Twins. Tries to get his edge guard, but... Doesn't get it. Like if uh, S1 like just delayed a little bit the up E, I wanted to see if like he could have caught uh, Black Twins out of the uh, barrels. But uh, 
Going to SD there, unfortunate. But it, uh, I mean, good showing by S1. He did definitely get this far. And, uh, I don't know. And, and getting matches on stream is helpful because uh, Mr. Farzad himself is uh, real good at, uh, I don't know. It's just nice to have, like, the, the video proof of, I don't know, like, stuff to have.